Hey parents, we wanted to take just a minute to explain our e-learning packet number two to you. In your packet, you received your 10-day plan. Um, this plan is um, very self-explanatory. You just go across, um, like you look at day one, and you go straight across and do those activities. Um, you will also notice a couple of different things in this plan. You will notice that every Friday is now Foster Park Friday, so there are no new assignments during this day, um, but you may use this time to um, do any assignment that hasn't been yet completed for that week, or if you're all caught up, then you've got the day off. So um, just pay attention to those two days. Of course, spring break was in there. We hope that you did no work during spring break because everybody deserved a break that week. Also, your e-learning writing menu. Um, there are nine activities on this menu, but of course you can see in the direction that you are only to complete three of them in the whole 10 day packet. So let your student just choose which three they would like to do and um, just complete any of those, any three of those assignments. And of course, if they do three and they really want to do more than that is perfectly fine, but they are only required to do three of them. Also, the reading log is in there. Just make sure that you put the book title, author, number of minutes read, and make sure you sign those, please. We also included an e-learning brochure this time. Um, there's so many new technology things that we're asking you to use, so we just wanted to include this um, to kind of give you some guidelines as to how to use those. Um, keep this for the rest of the e-learning period. That way you can refer back to it if needed. There's also some activity teachers um, activities in there. Parents, please remember that during the regular school year, students only go to each activity class once per week. Therefore, they are not expected to complete each activity each day. Instead, let them choose only one activity per day, and this activity should be the activity that they would normally go to on that day of the week. So for example, if they go to PE on Monday, then they would choose a PE activity on Monday, and so forth. Parents, we want to thank you. We know this is not easy. It is not easy for us either. We would much rather be at school with our babies, and um, we just thank you for all that you're doing to um, ensure that your child's education continues. And we appreciate you partnering with us to make sure that this learning gap is closed and that they don't miss anything that they need to have to go to fourth grade. So we applaud you. Thank you very much. And please, make sure that your child is checking their email daily. A good rule of thumb would be to check it first thing in the morning and last thing before they end their school day just in case they've missed something throughout today and of course you can check at any time as well again we thank you and if you have any questions you can contact your any of your child's teacher or any of the third grade teachers and we would be more than happy to answer those questions for you thank you and have a good day